Hello friends. Today in this session we will discuss design of road signs. Motor Vehicle Act of 2019 covers all the signs as required in different traffic situations. And the purpose of road signs is to promote road safety and efficiency by providing for orderly movement of all road users on all roads in both urban and non-urban areas. Road signs notify road users of regulations and provide warning and guidance needed for safe, uniform and efficient operations. Different types of signs included in each of these categories and their functions have been discussed in another video and you can watch that video on road signs. Now in this present session we will discuss design of road signs and the first point in consideration is sighting of road sign. The sign shall be so placed that the drivers can recognize them easily and in time. Normally, the sign shall be placed on the left hand side of the carriageway and for two lane roads, normally the signs may be placed on the left side of the carriageway, repeated on the other side of the carriageway if local conditions are such that the signs may not be seen in time by the drivers. For multi lane highways, the signs are placed on the left side of each carriageway and for hill roads, the sign shall generally be installed on the valley side of the road unless traffic and road conditions warrant these should be placed on the hill side. On all roads with or without curb and with and without shoulder, the extreme edge of the ground mounted sign should at least be 600 meter that is the distance A here. 600 meter and can be up to 2.5 meter away from the pavement from the shoulder edge and if there is no shoulder then this distance should be minimum of 1 meter and maximum of 3 meter and desirable is 2000 meter. The clear height of the sign above the ground should be 2 meter to 2.5 meter preferably 2 meter. For roads with curb, this distance will not be less than 300 meter, this distance C. The sign, the distance of sign from the pavement edge should be minimum of 300 millimeter and maximum of 1000 millimeter. Desirable 600 millimeter. Entry mounted sign should be on a column, preferably 7 meter, this distance I here, preferably 7 meter or more from the nearest traffic lane, this distance here. And similarly, if you take on curb roads, the bottom edge of the lowest sign, this distance E here, the bottom edge of the lowest sign shall be 2.1 meter to 2.5 meter above the curb. On roads without curb, it should be 2 to 2.5 meter above the crown of the pavement. It was shown here 2 to 2.5 meter this distance D and that is measured from the crown of the road. On multi-lane roads, the sign may be have to be mounted overhead for better visibility and these overhead signs are considered when traffic volume is high or when there are three or more lanes in each direction or in case of complex design of interchange or when there is limited space for ground mounted signs. These signs must provide vertical clearance shown as F here and this is 5.5 meter to 6.5 meter over the entire width of the carriageway including the shoulders. The materials for sign and for their fabrication should meet these guidelines. The concrete should be of M25 grade. Reinforcement steel shall confirm the requirement of IS 1786. Bolts, nuts and washers shall conform to IS 1367 and IS 1364. Plates and supports, sections for the sign posts shall conform to IS 226 and IS 2062 or any other stated IS specification. Concrete structure shall not be used for plates and supports. And substrate 
It is the basic material used to construct the sign. It will be either aluminum sheet or aluminum composite materials. Aluminum sheets used for sign boards shall be smooth, hard and corrosion resistant aluminum alloy conforming to IS736. And this aluminum composite material sheets used for sign boards is a, is a sandwiched construction with a thermoplastic core of low density polythene that is LDPE between two thick sheets of aluminum with overall thickness of 4 mm and 3 mm and aluminum skin thickness of 0 0.5 to 0.5 mm and 0 0.25 to 0.3 mm respectively on both sides. The retro refractive sheeting must be applied on the top surface with aluminum surface with recommended surface preparation from sheeting manufacturers. The mechanical properties of 4 mm and 3 mm aluminum composite material and that of its aluminum skin should conform to the requirement as given in this table. These are the requirements for mechanical properties of AACM and these are the properties of aluminum skin. And these are the standard test procedures and these are acceptable values for 4 mm and for 3 mm. Retrofitting, retro reflective sheeting used on the signs will be white or colored sheeting having a smooth outer surface having a property of retro reflections over its entire surface. Retro reflective sheets are divided into three classes class A sheeting, class B sheeting and class C sheeting. Class A sheeting is engineering and super engineering grade sheeting as per ASTM D4956 and they are type 1 and type 2. Similarly, type B sheeting can be of type 3 and type 4. And class C sheeting, all micro prismatic grade sheeting as per ASTM D4956 type 8, 9 and 11. IRC 67 provides some guidelines for usage of retro reflective sheeting on different types of roads. Says that class A and type A can only be used on other district road and village roads. Similarly, class B and type of sheeting type 4 can be used on major district road and other district road. And similarly, this type 11 can be used on expressway, national highway or state highway and they can also be used on major district road but optional here. On major district road you can use the cheaper one that is type 4 sheet of class B. IRC 67 provides performance characteristics of sheeting type 1 to type 11 used for road sign and this table gives just one example for type 2 super engineering grade sheeting and these are the observation angle, entrance angle and for white, yellow, orange, green, red, blue and brown color. Here retro reflection means the reflection of light which is returned back in the direction from which it came. Two keywords are important here. Observation angle and entrance angle. Observation angle is the angle between the illumination axis and the observation axis. So this is the illumination axis and this is the observation eye of the driver. The angle between these two is the observation angle. And similarly, the entrance angle means the angle from the illumination axis to the reference axis. This is the illumination axis that is the headlight and this is the reference axis parallel to the road. The reference axis is an axis perpendicular to the retro reflective surface or because these are placed perpendicular to the road and therefore this is parallel to the road. Coefficient of retro reflection is obtained from the luminous intensity I of the retro reflective area in the direction of observation and the illuminance on the retro reflective plane at right angle to the direction of the incident light. It is calculated as R A is equal to I upon E V into A. A is the sample surface area and R A is the coefficient of retro reflection expressed in candela per lux per square meter. Adhesive for signs, the sheeting shall have a pressure sensitive adhesive 
of the abrasive tack type requiring no heat, solvent or other preparation for adhesion to a smooth clean surface in a manner recommended by the sheeting manufacturer. The adhesive shall be protected by an easily removable liner and shall be suitable for the type of material of the base plate used for the sign. The adhesive shall form a durable bond to a smooth corrosion and weather resistant surface of the base plate such that it is not possible to remove the sheeting from the sign base in one piece by use of sharp instrument. Next is messages or borders. The messages like legends, letters, numerals and borders shall either be screen printed or cut out from durable transparent overlay or cut out from the same type of re reflective sheeting or may be digitally printed for the cautionary and mandatory sign boards on the top of the base retro reflective sheeting which should be covering the entire sign that is end to end of the service tray. Cut out messages and borders wherever used shall be either made out of retro reflective sheeting or made out of durable transparent overlay except those in black which shall be of opaque in the case of durable transparent overlays. And the color of the material shall be located within the area defined by the chromaticity coordinates as given here in this table and comply with the luminance factor given in IRC 67 when measured as per ASTM standard. Now here accurate numerical coordinates for each color can be measured using a spectrophotometer to determine whether color of the sign meets the color standard. In other words, you can guarantee that your orange sign will be true orange and green will be true orange. A similar table is available in IRC 67-2022 for night time color specification limits also. Color pattern for directional signs are given in IRC code for different categories of the roads. For expressway, for example, the background is blue and arrow, border or letters are written in white. For national highway, state highway, MDR, this is green and white. For ODR and VR, village road, background is white and arrow border letters are in black color. For urban city, urban and city roads, the background is blue and letters are white. And for other scenario like tourism related signs, it is brown and white and for temporary or work zone signs, it is yellow and black. The next is size of the signs. As a general rule, there will be four sizes 600 mm, 750 mm, 900 mm, and 1200 mm for mandatory, regulatory, and cautionary or warning signs. In the case of expressways, having a design speed in excess of 120 km per hour, the sign size of 1500 mm can be used for the cautionary and regulatory signs. For certain categories of mandatory and regulatory signs, smaller diameter of 300 mm board, boards can be used in conjunction with traffic light signals or on bollards on traffic islands. The mandatory signs and regulatory signs are normally sited at or near the point where the instruction supplies. And these are the dimensions of mandatory signs. For a speed up to 50 km, height of this sign will be 750 mm, border will be 25 mm thick and font size will be 175 mm and all in capital letters. Similarly, if the approach speed is more than 65 km per hour on minor speed, then these will be the dimensions of height, border and font size. Now the sign should be placed on minor road of an intersection. This is an intersection and this is a minor road and the major road. The sign should be used on minor road at, it, at its intersection with the major road. This is called the visibility triangle or visibility funnel. And if it is not obstruction free, then a stop sign should be installed and visibility triangle is measured by x and y distances and these x and y distance depends upon the speed on the minor street. So for a speed up to 550 km per hour on minor street, the visibility distance on major road that is Y is taken as 15 meter. 
and for 800 km per hour this is 120 meter and this distance x will be 4.5 meter for medium traffic and 3 meter for light traffic there cannot be heavy traffic on minor street this stop sign should be placed at a distance 1.5 meter to maximum of 6 meter from the stop line and similarly the the yield sign should be placed before the stop line at a distance of 1.5 meter and maximum distance can be 12 meter the size and dimensions of giveaway sign will be according to the approach speed on minor street up to a speed of 50 km per hour the side will be 60 centimeter that is the side of the equilateral triangle here and this border will be 45 millimeter and for a speed of 80 km per hour this side of the triangle will be 1.2 meter and the border will be of 90 millimeter the size and dimension of prohibitory sign and regulatory signs the the prohibitory signs are like this where you have a diameter you have a border you have an oblique bar and then something is written here it's a font size and all the dimensions are given here it can be a control sign also like a speed limit sign now here also that is diameter for a speed of 65 km per hour diameter will be 300 millimeter border will be of 35 millimeter this oblique bar will be 35 millimeter and font size will be 75 millimeter and similarly as the speed increases these sizes also increase compulsory or directional control and other signs they are circular in shape with blue background and white border having symbols in white for example this sign for compulsory right turn and dimensions of these signs are given here for design speed up to 65 km per hour diameter is 300 mm and border is six, uh, 10 mm and for a speed of more than 120 km per hour that is 1500 mm the border is 50 mm the third category is cautionary or warning signs and these signs are in the shape of an equilateral triangle with apex pointing towards up side like this right hand curve left hand curve or right hand pin band left hand pin band and many more these are they have red border black symbol and white background the size of these depends again on the design speed up to 50 km per hour the side of the triangle is 600 millimeter border 45 millimeter clear visibility distance is 45 meter and distance of sign from hazard is 45 meter similarly as the speed increases here say for example from 81 to 120 km per hour the side of the triangle becomes 1.2 meter border 90 millimeter clear visibility distance 90 meter and distance of sign from any hazard on the road is 1 to 80 to 245 meter warning signs should not be mounted on the same post as a stop sign or giveaway sign or terminal speed limit sign it should not be mounted on a traffic signal post also the information signs they provide information to the road users regarding their location or facilities available in the vicinity or about the destination these signs are rectangular in shape with green background, white border and white color. This may be of this type or maybe a lane dedicated gantry sign of this type, but they are rectangular with green background, white border and white color letters. This is the information to truck lay by and IRC 67-2022 gives plates of these signs with all dimensions whether it is a lane dedicated sign or a directional sign or destination sign or any other information sign IRC 67-2022 provides dimensioned plates for each type of informative signs. So friends thank you very much for watching this video. 
you can write your suggestions in the comment box.